The first men called us, the children, but we were born long before them. Leaf legend holds that the children of the forest ruled Westeros for thousands of years before the arrival of the first humans on the continent 12 millennia ago. They inhabited the vast primeval forests which spanned most of Westeros before humans came and began cutting them down. According to legend, the giants also inhabited Westeros at this time, and clashed periodically with the children. Whatever history, wars, romances, or triumphs the children may have had in the untold centuries that they inhabited Westeros, their stories have been forgotten. 12,000 years ago, the first men from the eastern continent of Essos migrated to Westeros by crossing a land bridge known as the Arm of Dawn. The first men began cutting down the children's forests, including the sacred weirwood trees, leading them into conflict with the children. The two races fought a desperate series of wars for dominance for the next 2,000 years, during which the children of the forest destroyed the Arm of Dawn and flooded the neck through the sorcery of the Greenseers. After 2,000 years of violence, the children of the forest and the first men fought one another to a standstill. The two races agreed to peaceful coexistence and signed the pact on the Isle of Faces in God's Eye Lake, granting the open lands to humanity and the forests to the children. The pact lasted for another 2,000 years before the enigmatic White Walkers invaded from the uttermost north, bringing death and destruction to both races. The children of the forest allied with the first men to drive back the White Walkers in the war for the dawn 8,000 years ago. After the defeat of the White Walkers, the children, much reduced in number, are said to have helped Bran the Builder raise the wall with their powerful magic to prevent the White Walkers' return. The children of the forest never had a large population to begin with, and they took heavy losses in the struggle against the White Walkers, from which they never truly recovered. Over the following centuries they gradually declined throughout Westeros, until they had all but disappeared by the time the Andals invaded Westeros 6,000 years ago. The few who remained were hunted or driven off by the Andals during their conquest of the continent, believing their magic to be an abomination to their faith of the Seven. The Andals cut down the sacred heart trees in the south, except on the Isle of Faces, but the first men of the north withstood their advance, and continued their worship of the old gods centered around the remaining heart trees there. The handful of children who survived the slaughter were said to have fled to the far north, beyond the wall, where the Andals would never follow them. By the time that Aegon I Targaryen conquered and united the seven kingdoms of Westeros 300 years ago, there had been no contact with the children of the forest for thousands of years. According to the knowledge of the maesters, the children are either extinct, or never existed in the first place and are a purely mythical race. This is disputed by the people of the North, who hold that they inherited their worship of the old gods from the children of the forest, who were real and have long since departed the realms of men. Secretly, a handful of the children actually did survive in the lands beyond the wall, unseen even by the wildlings, hiding in vast underground caverns.